the timing from the adrenaline might be slightly different today, but this looks like pretty good shot right here. Asking for it to go. Living dangerously here on the sixth. Get back to six. And this is a par putt for Zhang. Five pars and a bogey for Rose. Going to set up for a little draw. Especially with the wind a bit off the right today. And that's exactly what Rose has done. Picks the tee up nice and quickly. And that one is in very good shape. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Okay. No damage. You know, take advantage of it. Mean, you've got to look at these par fives as your scoring opportunities. There's a bunker on the left that's 240 to carry, and the bunker on the right is 270 to get to. Didn't like that, huh? Popped it up a little bit to the right, but she's going to get away with it. Kind of like that. Nicely done. Should dif very different technique than what DT used. Very short backswing there. Well, I, I think it's easy to, to look at them as juniors, but for the most part, I mean, they're all established players in their own right, and they're very used to playing in senior events as well. It's, you know, they're all good friends. But that penalty area crosses over the... The fairway it does play downhill, and of course, it is fairly downwind as well right now. Rose looks like she liked that one. Yep, safely away. And it does mean that second shot is uh, longer than you would. Once it gets over the mound, it goes downhill towards the hole. Oh. Ah, oh, beautiful. One bounce, Karen, into that upslope. Made that look easy. So far this week, his first time watching her up close is her short game. She very rarely finds herself out of position. She hit 80% of the greens coming into today, but the time she has, she's been able to get up and down the majority of them. Beautiful shot there. Par saves, Karen, and here we go at 10. Well, I think this is, uh, you know, this par five, you've got the 13th as well, you've got the 16th. These are all going to be crucial holes for these players on the back nine and, and Rose as well and that's a safe play but I'm not sure about getting to the green and two from there I'd be able to chase something up there close to the front <laughs> would get up all the way just didn't quite carry it far enough there Karen needed another two paces or so in the air in order for it to have a little more steam Similar to what we saw from Cheyenne Knight in the group of head, group ahead, just tough to trust how much uphill that. Very good two putt in the end. She had with Gilly, she just doesn't seem flustered at all, even though she's in quite the predicament here. And that just cleared that tree off that downslope. Downslope was good because it was into the wind. What a shot. Chasing after it. Wow. That was spectacular. What a recovery. I mean, maybe it's a better angle from over there. I mean, terrible downhill lie. Having to get it up over the trees. She knew we she hit it well. We haven't seen anybody get it anywhere near this hole on 12. And uh, how she goes about her business on the golf course. Looks unflappable. Eleven pars and just a single bogey on the card for Rose Zhang. Back on the tee at the 13th with Rose Zhang. Leads by one. Go ahead. Bunkers down the right, Tom, and then the fairway can run out of room down the left into that penalty area, but back into the wind, it's not a problem today. 
I tell you what, you know, she didn't make the birdie on the previous hole, but that looked like almost like a winning shot to me. I mean, you think that it could, could have gone wrong with that, could have hit the trees. What have you noticed, Karen, about Rose and her demeanor today as she struggled a little bit as opposed to yesterday? You could see that early on she was um, a little bit flustered, not so much flustered, but um, her head was hanging a little bit lower than, than you'd see her walking with it normally up high. Bring it out here to the course. Big part of yeah. this goes oh. in, and she just can't get it to drop. Had a good chance on the previous hole after that wonderful recovery. And that was primed for her first birdie, so she's keeping it very interesting here. Um, with all the pressure and wanting it, oh, yeah. this looked like oh. it just ran out of pace. It wasn't a bad putt, particularly. Just didn't have. Well, and the uh, OPJ Tour have given the players a really different look on this 14th hole today. They've moved the tee box all the way to the far right, playing it slightly shorter, and this is an eight time for Rose. Again, one of the best shots that we've seen. She likes to hit just a little bit of a hold shot up against this crosswind. As the holes start ticking away, the nerves do start to get a little bit more on this length of putt, but she's showing no sign of that. On the right, do come into play quite a bit, and with the wind off the right, uh, she's just trying to make sure that they stay out of play. This is a little draw. Concerned about it going too far left there by her reaction, and it is going to be just okay. Yeah. Well, she's uh, cleaned those putts up very well today. Yeah, there's no driver here. Just going to go lay this one up. There's a, the group in front is uh, taking a little bit of time up around the Shot. green and. Honestly, I really feel like Rose doesn't need to go for this green in two, and this is a really smart play. Jason Gilroy, the caddy, was was uh, getting the laser out. I kind of feel like you, you know, you, you can't roll the dice too much. Oh, there you go. Looks like a good decision now, doesn't it? Give herself some breathing room going into the last two difficult holes. Making piles, not having that many opportunities for birdie, knowing that you're on the back foot all day long trying to save piles. Dead and she's straight just packed this down the fairway. Yeah, wonderful. Well, if the putter had been working for Rose, she'd be running away with it. And it has been uh, a lot closer. The putter has not worked for birdies, but for pars, it has. Can it work again here? What a time to make a putt. Yeah. And Rose Zhang takes the one-shot lead. recent Augusta National Women's Amateur Champ and the first winner of that event will play off. They'll go back to the 18th. Making it nearly impossible to get to the green. I was nervous watching this. Yeah. She had to be. Even Ataya Titikun who... As to what happened just a few minutes ago, but uh, the fact that she left this 18th green uh, smiling towards the, her friends that were waiting for her at the back of the green was was a good of mentality. Uh oh. oh! Went from the left bunker to the right bunker here. The second time around on 18, get it out of this bunker. Job number one. That was an easier decision to make as well with her opponent in this playoff also. Yes. Yes. She's going to have almost the exact same putt that she 
she had about 20 minutes ago. Comes up just. Wow. Unflappable. And the pressure is on Jennifer Cupcho. Right in those sort of pinching in with the bunkers are. And this one is drawing left. All right, she's going to be short this time on the fairway. She'll go first. All kinds of trouble down the right side here. Incredible. Another brilliant shot from Rose. She'll have that for Birdie. Rose Zhang is here, and she is here to stay. In her first start as a professional, she wins the Mizuho Americas Open. Stanford teammate, Megagane. 